So I've been working on the transcripts for our podcast, and I got three cool JavaScript things to show you. First one is maps with object keys. So here we have our utterances. These are things we've said throughout the podcast. And then we have different topics that mark when different topics in the podcast start. And I want to be able to group them, be like topic one, these are the things that said, topic two, et cetera. So there's a new proposal for map.groupby. And what that will allow us to do is to take an array and group them into different groups. If you've ever done this with a reduce, it's kind of clunky. You got to check if something's there. You got to have a specific key. Maps are really cool because maps allow you to have literally anything as a key. And one kind of cool thing you can use as a key is an object. So I'm going to use the object of a topic as a key and then the utterances that fit into that topic as the values. So we simply say map.groupby, we give it an array of things that were said, and you find the topic that is associated with that specific utterance. So here we go, we go find through it. Now here's another cool thing with this double question mark, the nullish coalescing operator. So we have a start, but we don't have the end of it. So what we do is we say, okay, well, what's the start of the next topic? And if that doesn't exist, we want, like at the very last topic, there is no next topic. So we say it's infinity. With the nullish coalescing operator, you can simply say, all right, it's this value, but if that thing is null or nullish, then it just fall back to infinity. So what is returned to that is a map, not an object, not an array, a map. In each of the entries in the map, there is a key, which is the topic, and there is a value, which is all of the array items that fit into it, then allows us to loop over things. Like here, we can go console log topic dot topic, and then I can console a console table, each of the utterances that fit into it. I love that because we're not duplicating it. We're just simply referencing the objects and sorting them into a new map. So it makes us easy to template over and show them on the website.